Okay. Hi, I'm Tim Alden with Alden School of Leather Trades. Today I'm going to show you how to put together the Leather Machine Co. Cobra Burnisher. And it comes in these two boxes that we have here. So let's just get started. This is going to be the stand and the burnisher is going to be in the shorter working pack box. So I suggest you have some paper towels handy. This stuff comes coated in oil some of it. That way it doesn't rust while it's stored. So can be a bit of a mess. Let's open this up with a box cutter here. Instructions. Got nuts and bolts here. Allen wrenches for putting things together. A little plastic hook thing that I never use that you're supposed to be able to hang brush on. We're gonna start with the base. I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit. It's not as oily as some of the other pieces will be. Next, I'm gonna go for this piece, which is quite coated in oil. So this is gonna go into the stand. Sometimes when I'm burnishing stuff, I like to be able to step on one of the legs and push into the machine a little bit. So we're gonna have these coming. You got the stickers in the front here and a leg on each side and a single leg out the back. So there's two screws here with Allen wrench heads in them. They're already in the stand. So all you gotta do is tighten them up. Okay, so this little screw is gonna go right here and that's gonna be the set screw that holds pressure on this pipe that slides in the stand here. So we're just gonna put that there for now. And take this out of here. This pipe is always wrapped pretty good in plastic and it's covered in oil pretty good. Now, we got that cleaned off, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the tray right here. And this slides over, you want it pretty square. Goes down until it stops. And then next, we're gonna put this pipe down inside here. And you have your big screw right here. It goes in this groove right here. So you can adjust the height, the screw goes down through here, and then you can loosen up the set screw and then slide it and turn it and lock it into place. And so we got it, and we're gonna put it the tallest setting because the customer that's picking this machine up is pretty tall. We're gonna tighten up this set screw here that locks that from coming out of the groove. We got that good and solid. Next, we're gonna put on the top plate. You can see that it's a rectangle. We want the long direction going square front to back. So that's how the machine's gonna mount on here. Once again, it has two set screws. They're already in the stand. Just use the Allen wrench to tighten them up. Okay, so now that we've got that mounted on there, we're gonna set this off to the side and we're gonna grab the burnishing head. Throw it up on the table.
It also comes with a couple of tools here, some wrenches. So right there is something that you need to think about. Um, 
turn this machine on and you can see that it's rotating backwards. And so when you're burnishing edges, you want it rotating forward towards you this direction. That way when you push down on your leather work, you can apply wax and then when you lift your leather work against the wheel, you're actually taking material off. And so there's a switch around the back that changes it, the direction of the motor. So we go ahead and switch that to the right side if you're reaching over and go ahead and turn this back on. Another thing that you want to think about with this machine is safety. So I wouldn't wear loose clothing or any drawstring sweatshirts when you're working on these machines and we just want you to be really safe when you work on this machine because if you get anything caught in this when it's turning it isn't going to be good so you want to be careful on what clothing that you wear and if you have long hair you want to make sure that's tied up as well. Well thanks for stopping by. Hope you like this video. Hope it helps you if you've purchased a burnisher from us getting it set up. If you have any questions don't hesitate to email us at info at leathercraftingschool.com or give us a call. That's the best way to get in touch with us and we'll see you next time.